hey, let's talk about manifesting some more. It's a great topic. And once you start to really dig into the laws of the universe that allow you to become, once you understand how they operate, a co-creator, a master manifester, it takes away all that misery, that angst, that confusion, that depression, that feeling, you know, like nothing's ever going to work out. That's not a good place to be. But when you study how manifestation works and all the great masters have been teaching people, Jesus was the master metaphysician who kept telling people, you can do these things too. You know, he could turn water into wine. He could, you know, take a few loaves of bread and fish and feed the multitude. He could stop the storm when they were on a boat. He could find money in the fish's mouth when he needed it to pay tax. He could do anything. You can do the same things. The only way thing separating you from it is your lack of belief, your trust. He said, be, be ye as a little child. Have that childlike trust that you can do these things and it will work out. Don't clog your mind up with all those negative emotions like fear, doubt, jealousy, envy, depression. That's what keeps you from being a manifester. And if you do the work on yourself to consciously release these negative emotions that lie buried in our subconscious many times, you get closer and closer to being a master manifester. And, you know, even quantum physics is going to teach you. It's not what you think it is. You're living in a, in a world of um, consciousness, mind, not matter. Matter isn't real. Check that one out. Well, once you really get clear that you can create with your imagination in your inner world, whatever it is you desire, and you really know how to focus your mind on it in a way that you can hold your attention on it long enough to believe it, feel it, and experience it in your inner world, it will manifest in your outer world. So if you go to my website, I wrote a book called Secrets of a Metaphysical Flight Attendant because I wanted to help people figure it out just like I did. I'm so glad I had that career in aviation because honestly, I met the most amazing people, but I was ready to meet them. I was open to it. You know, I could have been someone who was turned off, shut off, shut down, and I wouldn't have heard or seen or experienced the things I did, but I had an open mind. If you read my book, you'll find out why. And I did this course called the Mega Manifestation Method, which came out recently because in that course, I give you some tools to become a master manifester. There's a meditation technique in there that you can use. There's explanations of how spiritual healing works and how you can solve problems that come up in every area of your life and get solutions. So make it fun because metaphysics is really a divine adventure. Once you bring in to understand how interesting and fun it is, you just want to learn everything you can about it. And there's always something new to learn. <laughs>